You definitely should bring your dog by claim right away, and I'll tell you the reason why. In the first place, let's say it involves a child. Let's say she's a four-year-old girl and she was bitten on the face. Every time it comes up in court, she touches her face. Maybe she refers to it as her boo-boo. And you can just sense the pain that she has. And you're on the jury and you're looking at that. That's one, that's one scenario. Now think of another scenario. I'll give you another scenario. You're on the jury and there's a 20-year-old woman. And she's on the stand. And she's talking about how she was bitten by a dog when she was four years old and how it hurt, and how she had a scar on her face for a while, and how she used to wet her bed, and how uh, it was very embarrassing for her on prom night. These are, these are not sympathetic people, because there's no urgency. There's no, they're not little kids. There's no reason to compensate them now, because it's all over. Another reason why you want to bring the claim right away has to do with the facts being fresh and witnesses remembering what they need to remember in order to help you. Imagine that you're in a one-bite state. You've got to prove that the dog owner knew or should have known that his dog liked to bite people or had the tendency to bite people or wanted to bite people. All right, so your attorney gets a witness on the stand 20 years later and says, do you remember that there was a dog that lived down the street? And the person goes, yeah, I remember that dog. The attorney says, do you remember that it was a brown dog? And the person goes, I don't remember whether it was a brown dog or a, I don't remember. Then the attorney says, all right, do you remember that that dog used to get out and chase people? Yeah, I think I remember that. Yeah, but it was a long time ago. I'm not sure whether it was that dog or it was another dog, but I, I think so. You see, you can't rely on people to be able to tell what a certain dog did at a certain point in time, especially if you ask them the question, did you, do you remember whether those things happened before this accident or after? If five years or 10 years or 20 years have gone by, they're simply not going to remember. And if they don't remember, you're not going to be able to prove your case. And that means you're going to lose it.